Robin Slim Show, we are back. Paul, are you there? I am here. What's up? Fellas? Paul Ford, how you doing? I'm living the dream, man. <laughs> I don't know why my, my intern, Paul, wanted me to ask if you can get naked for us. Oh, uh, <laughs> <get> what? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> he has a, he has a weird thing, I guess, going. I don't know. I don't know, Paul. How's it going, uh, Hollywood actor Paul Ford? What what have you been up to? Oh, about three foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> have you had a lot of auditions since? Like, I wanted to ask, like, on a daily basis, how many auditions do you go on? Oh, on a, oh, I don't go on that many on a daily basis. This okay. is Hollywood, man. And, <laughs> you know, there's st we're still trying to flip them on, you know, disabled actors. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, I know you said that last time, so too. I, yeah, exactly. You know, we're still working on it. I mean, I just did um, uh, last week I was at the Writers Guild. I did um, two short plays. One was directed by uh, director uh, Ben Lewin. Are you familiar with him? No. Film The Session. What was it? The Session? Yeah, no. not not for It was with uh, he yeah he won some award with it. It was with uh, Helen Hunt and William H Macy. Wow, Macy's Helen Hunt. Was that so, the yeah. horror movie where they were? No, I'm probably thinking of something I else. I didn't. I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask. Oh, I'm thinking of the Descent. That That's was another I thing I was gonna ask if you did stage work as well as on screen work. Yeah, well, I do whatever I can. Yeah, you know. You know, I'm I'm easy and cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so are we, Paul. So are we. <laughs> exactly. That's why I like you. <laughs> I was wondering if you get along so like well. me. <laughs> 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 so I did that um, last week with the Writers Guild. I did two short plays. Like, I think it was like 10-minute plays. They're really good. It was fun. Cool. And then um, I recently submitted a video, uh, yeah, self-tape for NBC. I'm nice. not sure why, what that's for. Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't even know? Oh, you don't remember? I was going to say, do they just, like, do you ever get something where, like, they just tell you to read a line and you don't even know what it's for? Yeah. <laughs> I did one, um, well, I guess I was kind of, I did a pilot uh, audition for Fox uh, about a month ago. Wow. And um, all I know is that I was playing uh, a weatherman, a chopper pilot. That's what they wanted. Oh. So. <laughs> Chopper Paul. Then, I like that character. Yes, right? Exactly. Wow. And then uh, I auditioned for another film, but it, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But uh, I couldn't climb a ladder, so they couldn't hire me. Oh. <laughs> they got to have something. They, to... they could have had you right. on like, a harness. They could have yeah. had you on a harness. They've... like. I told him I was game. I'll do anything once. <laughs> Twice if she looks good. <laughs> so that's about it. I mean, I'm just, you know, hanging out, doing the thing. Where are you right now? I know last time I think you were at Starbucks when you called, correct? I am. I'm actually home today. Okay. Right now. Cool, cool. So... <laughs> Yeah, we're not we're not watching the crazies go by. I did that earlier today. <laughs> That's just got to be one of the best things. Just watch, yeah, just watching people out there. Like, oh, oh be. man, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I saw a seventy-year-old Asian lady riding. She was about seventy, riding the skateboard on Sunday. Oh, good for her. <laughs> on Easter. <laughs> I, on Easter. On Easter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, you go. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Was she doing tricks and stuff, too? Like yeah, Ollie's? Like and... a 180? Or... <laughs> that, nope. She was just riding along Hollywood Boulevard, and I was like, okay, you go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. I wouldn't even try that, and I'm 40. Yeah, right. God damn. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, we talked to a guy years ago, and he just, and he's from like Philly area, and he said once he moved out there, he just, He's never seen so many things that he's just, just like, what the fuck? Like, what? Well, this shouldn't, oh, I yeah. shouldn't be seeing this. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're saying that you're just like, uh, I can't believe I just saw that, but okay. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Some things, you, some things you don't want to see, and you'd be like, oh, I wish I had never seen that. I can't get that back. <laughs> <laughs> can't be unseen. <laughs> <laughs> I love Not at all, man. I love Paul. I loved your your midget mafia clip. 
Is that a uh, web like series that. you're working on? Yes. You you played Tony Nomo. I just, I loved it on so many levels. So many levels. It, it's so wrong on so many levels, too. <laughs> and what did you say? You're like, I'm three, I'm three feet tall standing, but six feet tall laying down. <laughs> <laughs> do the math baby yeah for all the for all the women out there it's a true statement <laughs> yes yes <laughs> what um is that something you're currently um in the process of of making or is that is that on the back burner well so here's what happened so like i did this film back in 2009 with um with uh chris jericho Cool. And um, I met the, the the lady that was doing the makeup, who was ended up being really super cool. Her name is um, Colleen, and we became friends. And so one day, I just had this weird idea. I was like, "We should do." I I text her and I said, "We should write a film, or write a, a movie, or a series, or whatever, and it should be about the midget mafia." And we went like we spent an entire like a week or two just texting back and forth. Just, funny shit that we could think of and then next thing i know we were sitting there writing it so we tried to get the funds for it we casted it tried to get all the funds for it and that didn't happen so i mean it's still i'm still looking for funds so if anybody wants to fund it go for it i'm right here (laughs) (laughs) cool and it's kind of like a mock like uh reality show correct exactly and that's what it was supposed to make do we were the whole premise of it was to make fun of of like um the uh, mafia housewives or whatever it was yes. called or whatever, mafia <laughs> yeah that, that show it was to make fun of that in any reality show that was out there kind of like the kardashians so it, it made me think of like it, yeah yeah exactly <laughs> all the we were making fun of nothing but uh uh, the the reality shows that where they interview everybody you know during the show and all that stuff yeah. that's why if you if you watch the clip you'll see that all the uh, the beats are off beat they're not in. They're not in timing, and it's all done on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That's genius. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and the other cool, the other cool thing is the entire thing was was um was uh is improv. There's oh. no script. Wow, I like that. That 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 makes something better for me. If it could so the cool thing is, is yeah, done. like when we did the uh, when we did the uh, that interview, like the promo, because there's like four of them. Did you get the chance to watch any of them? All of them, or just the greatest one? Which was I like, yeah, I just saw yours, but yeah, I didn't get the chance today. I wanted to go and watch others, but I had a lot of I had a lot of drama in this morning. That, no, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but so the thing was, is like so Colleen wrote all the the questions down, and nobody knew the the questions until we filmed it. Oh, that is so cool. So cool. And so, so if, if you go watch one of them, is, her name is uh, Jessica Whitfield. She's in there. She, freaking funny, man. She is perfect. Cool. She was perfect and a, and a good friend of mine. So I had to, you know, plug her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's in, uh, she's in Kansas City. She's actually a really good actress, but, like, nobody knew what was going on. Nobody knew what, you know, all we, our thought was, is, okay, we'll create these scenarios and then just say, okay, go. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and so that's that's the whole thing. And but then we're gonna do like talking points, you know. So it's, I mean, we have it casted, and there's some really talented people that are involved with it. Yeah, and uh, but uh, we just we can't get the funds. I, I don't uh, I don't guess I have enough social media. So let's boost that up and get me some money. Right, get get a get a what is that a Kickstarter or something maybe? We tried we tried the Indigo and didn't go. Oh, <laughs> so it was an Indie no go. It didn't go. <laughs> 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 what was it like though, Paul, working with Chris Jericho? He seems like a really oh, cool was, guy. He was cool, but you know the funniest part was I there was a guy from um oh what's his name? Uh he was with uh Howard Stern. He was one of the guys that was on Howard Stern. He was actually really cool to hang out with. Oh, and the wow. other cast members were really cool too, but um, I didn't really get to hang out a lot with Chris Jericho, other okay. than um, like being shuttled from the hotel to the to the set. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's so pretty cool. Pretty cool. I kind of would <laughs> would want to be down. I I would want to do that. Just a shuttle bus to Chris Jericho. <laughs> exactly. That was cool. I, I felt like a star, even though I was a nobody. <laughs> Still, <laughs> all the extras were co- all the extras were coming up trying to get autographs, and I'm like, okay, I don't, you don't know who I am, but okay. That's cool. That is <laughs> super cool. Super cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, what um? Do you have anything else in the works that you could tell us about? 
uh, what am I working on? Uh, well, I am in the working right now. Um, I am considering rewriting something. Uh, something actually serious. It's not going to be comedy. It might have some comedy to it, but I'm going to write something that's, you know, um, a little bit more serious. Mm-hmm. That's going to play on um, like some some uh, some stereotypes. So the premise. I'll just give you a quick update. A real quick thing is basically I'm going to do where uh, an older guy dates a younger girl, and he's also disabled, but she's not. Okay. And so she thinks she thinks that the friends are going to be mad because he's an older guy, when in reality they're all prejudiced or just you know discriminating against because he's actually a small person. And I'm going to be the small person. Cool. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, has that happened to you? I was going to ask. I was just going to ask. Like as as a child growing up, were you ever discriminated against? Like. Oh yeah, I mean tons of times, dude. I mean I've gone from. Oh, you know I can think of thousands of them. Yeah, thousands of you know, but so I'm taking some of the things that that I know that I've had to deal with, and and go okay, that's gonna you know this is what like somebody her friend would actually say. Yeah, you know, like when I was married, my ex wife used to tell me that you know women would follow her in the bathroom and wanted to know if I could have sex. Just <laughs> just couldn't not ask the question. They just had to get that question. Out there. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. she would be, she, she was going to guess what somebody just asked me. And I'm like, if I can have sex, she goes, yes. So we would count how many times people would ask her that in the daytime. Wow. And I know, <laughs> I know you have children as well. Are they, are they dwarves too, Paul? Or, or no, 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 no. My, um, my oldest is, um, I think she's like five, five, I think. Yeah. But, uh, my youngest now she's small, but she's not, you know, she's not a, She's not like super, super small. She's just short for a 16 year old, 17, 16 year old. My middle son, William, <laughs> I remember every time he go to the doctor, the, the the doctor would always say he was short for his age. And I think like the third or fourth time, I was just like so sick of hearing her say it. I was like, yeah, I get it. He's a midget. And she was like, no, <laughs> right, I'm not saying exactly. that. I'm not saying that. And he's just, <laughs> the funny thing is like, he's taller than my oldest son now. Like they, they don't know what they're talking yeah. about. They don't know. They have percentiles yeah. and all sorts of dumb things they give you like. It's oh like, yeah, oh. yeah. No, I I get that. They say certain things about me. You'll never do this, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll do it anyway. Yes, I'll <laughs> prove you wrong. I have another friend that did that too. Like he, uh, I, I forget what it was with like his college counselor, and I forget what she said. But just to prove her wrong, he took the hardest major, and he got he got yeah. his degree. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you know, back in the in the like early '80s and late. 70s and I'm dating myself but they used to give you these things called assessment tests where they would you know help you decide what your career should be yeah you know back in school yeah you remember, did you ever get those uh, yeah I, I I think like I had a few of those and yeah just I never those things are stupid they never so they, when you, right when you yeah. decide you want to go in high school you know what you should focus on and stuff like that oh, mine yes. said that I was actually going to be a, be like a ditch digger Oh my God! Yeah, that is so I was gonna work insulting. with my hands in construction. Yeah, but, but besides that, yeah, is that really? Were you really gonna pursue that? No, like. Oh. <laughs> so oh I thought, well, God. this is just to show you how stupid these things are. And that's such an insult. It's like, yeah, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a, a, ditch digger. a ditch digger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the exactly. world needs ditch diggers too, Paul. Like, <laughs> yeah. come on, here. come on. Hey, nothing against ditch diggers, yeah. man. You know, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> At least make me a grave digger. Come on. Come on. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. Let's see, make it fun. Please. I'm digging for a purpose, not just to make a ditch here. Come on. <laughs> my ex-wife will do that with my kids. Like, I think they should be electricians. It's like they're fucking eight years old. They're ten years old. Like, oh, well, we just we let them grow in this house. Yeah, we let them be so. Yeah, like oh, figure we'll themselves them out. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they're gonna be trade schools. Like what? what? Yeah, exactly, like, exactly. <laughs> so I'm not working on anything like specific, other than I did get a request to submit for a uh, uh, a reality dating show for disabled people. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Yeah. That's because hmm. I've never dated a disabled person. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first. My my thought was like, well, dating this is, is it like is it going to be regular? Like I don't want to say right, like people that don't have disabilities dating yes. people with disabilities yeah. or disabilities. Or 
Because if that's the case, I'm game. You know, bring me <laughs> in, man. Because, <laughs> you know, it, well, because I always figured that, you know, look, I'm, I'm short enough. I don't need somebody else that can't reach the shit either that I need. <laughs> <laughs> I, right? <laughs> that's got to suck when you're in a fight, though. They're hiding, like, the car keys on top of the fridge. Like, it's got to be. Uh, gotta... you, well, that's true, too. Yeah, that's why you always keep them in your pocket. That you don't have to worry about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my theory is, is if I can't get there I don't need it <laughs> I like that I like that <laughs> oh. so that's the only other thing I gotta submit for that and, and uh, I did ask them I was like okay well, does it matter that I've never dated a disabled person Yeah. and they were like oh no no it's for both but you know it's mainly focusing on disabled people like you know have you ever dated someone in a wheelchair or not and, and these are I got a list of questions I got to answer. I got to submit for that okay. before the end of the month. Uh, and then, um, oh, this month, yeah, we're doing a, a there's a like a 48 hour film challenge for the Easter sales. I'm doing that, which is actually really cool because then you get to um, you got to write it, direct it, cut it, and I'll done it. I'll do it all in one weekend, and then you got to present it. Wow. As a, uh, as, as, yeah, it's a, it's a, it can be. I don't remember the, the length of it, but I'm just I'm just the actor. That, I don't do oh. anything other than just. I was gonna say that's pretty cool <laughs> to like work under that kind of deadline, like to see what you could produce in like that amount of yeah. time. That's really cool, really cool. And it's done through yeah, it's through the Easter sales of uh, and so I think there's it's I mean it's nationwide, but yeah, because uh, I know that there are some people from New York that are submitting, and I know that like I was in one last year, so um, which was fun. I mean, it is a lot of fun because you go there and you hang out, you shoot your film, and then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be coming up here actually in the next couple of weeks, I think. Um, cool. You can see there, you can go on their um, their website, but it's actually really cool. There's a lot of people that are supporting it this year, it looks like. So I know um, the guy, uh, Nick Nowicki, he uh, is definitely busting his hump trying to get it, get people involved in it. So it just kind of opens up the door for diversity, mm. which is cool. That is super yeah. cool. I was going to ask you too, Paul, what is, uh, if you could tell us like is there any one thing in an audition that is the most important important thing to like focus on or do they always differ um well my agent always says show up on time because you make me look bad if you don't okay um, that's, that's a good thing <laughs> my manager does <laughs> but one of the casting my one of the casting directors said to at, at a workshop once she said just you know no matter what come prepared okay that's the number one thing you to just come prepared, just and for if it's, you know, if it's, even if yeah. it's a cold read, have the the the, the uh, script in hand and just come prepared. That's all. Okay. Because it's your job. I like the being early, like being on time thing too. I think that that speaks volumes. Yeah, she. That was the first thing. Uh, it was my manager. Her name is Gina Stiles. That was the first thing she ever said to me when we uh, when she decided to to bring me on, and she said, "Okay, first thing is, is well, she said two things. Never, you know, never be late." Um, be an hour early if you can. Yes. And no, and no porn. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say too though, it's gotta be tough in LA though, making <laughs> making it somewhere on time because of the traffic and like just the amount. Oh of yeah, man. People. <laughs> it's crazy because you could go like five miles and it still take you half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, That's man. why you never take you never take the freeway. You always go the back street. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> yeah, ways help. <laughs> but but that's it for now. I mean, that's all I'm really doing. I haven't done anything. But if you know anybody that wants to support, you know, hey, we're, we're we'll give we'll give kudos to anyone that wants to help boost up the uh, midget mafia of Kansas City. So, and the reason we pick and the reason we pick Kansas City not only because we live there, because there really was a mafia presence in the Kansas City area. Was there? Wow. Yeah, because <laughs> apparently they. Um, that was kind of like the middle point between between uh, Vegas, Chicago, and New York. That's okay. where they, you know, that's it was a huge, huge. At one point, there was a huge mafia presence in the uh, Kansas City area. That was the layover. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the the stop where you count your money. <laughs> yeah. You see Vegas, count your money in Kansas City, and then go to New York. <laughs> We're gonna make sure you still have it all on you in Kansas City. 
Exactly. <laughs> we don't want anything disappearing. <laughs> but you guys should definitely check out the other videos on there. I mean, it's yes. funny, man. I, uh, yeah. I think you guys would enjoy it. It's, it's your sick humor. <laughs> <laughs> you know us too well, Bob. Too well. <laughs> hey, I've been, I've been following you guys for a while now, so I know all about you people. I love, like, one of, the, one of my favorite things to see is, like, when a guest, has is still like checking us out like it, it's great like or watching us live oh, yeah, on facebook cool, yeah it's so cool it's just yeah. it's one of the greatest ways like to, to build an audience i feel and just it it feels good like i said when somebody we talked to a few weeks ago you could see they're watching us or or something like that it, it is super cool super cool that is awesome that is awesome yeah so you guys are definitely doing something right or doing something wrong <laughs> <laughs> if it's wrong i don't want to be right that's all i know exactly as long as you're not getting arrested it's all good <laughs> <laughs> that'll be next season and if you yeah well if you are getting arrested make sure you have a good lawyer <laughs> yeah bad publicity is still publicity um, Paul, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you too. Um, I saw you um, recently tweeted about going to acting class. Is there anything new that you learn going to those classes? Or um, oh yeah, man. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you always find something new. You know, I'm I'm I probably, I'm not the expert, but I just know that um, you never stop learning. I mean, you guys know that. Just see even what you guys do. You you always learn something new every day. Yeah. But, absolutely. I mean, even. You know, there's always something coming up, but you know, you're trying something different. Like um, right now, I'm working on like a, mo a monologue for myself, one series, and one comedy, and I'm actually getting ready to do a scene on Thursday where I'm playing. Remember Fraser Crane, the Crane, uh, Fraser Crane show, whatever it was called. Yes, yeah, Fraser. Yeah, I'm gonna be Fra Yeah, Fraser. I'm gonna be Fraser in a in a you know just and then you learn. <laughs> you you got to learn. You know how not just how you would do that person or that person but you have to learn the backstory you know why did you go in that room that's the thing that i have to go okay why did i go in this room why am i here wow why would why would frazier be here yes <laughs> i remember um years so, ago comedian jimmy norton uh just saying like when he was in an audition he didn't know what to do with his hands like that's gotta be yeah that's gotta be something that comes into it like yeah it's gotta be like yeah what, what do i do how do i how do i just move in this situation like <laughs> It's got to be And there crazy. are people that, exactly. And there's people that, you know, when even though they've been doing it for a while, they still have, like, small ticks that they have to get rid of. I have them. Yeah. I have a small tick I got to get rid of, you know. And you got to be, co you know, uh, cognizant about it. And you just got to go, okay, I got to stop doing that. Even just, like, and insecurities I've noticed. Like, even the insecurities I've had as a kid, like, sometimes they come in. They just still come into, yeah. uh, so come into situations <laughs> in, in everyday, everyday situations. And I'm, I'm over 40, like. Like, it's like, why? Why have I not been able to <laughs> stop that? <laughs> well, that's true, too. And then the other thing I have to think about, too, is I'm going, you know, I always think about it as, okay, I have to just let go and just have fun with it. Yeah. Instead of thinking about what am I going to, how, how stupid am I going to look? I'm 50 years old and I'm still thinking I'm probably looking really dumb right now. <laughs> that's why I drink on the show. Like, once I have a drink or two, like, I'm, I'm much looser. <laughs> Much looser. Well, there you go. That's why I think everybody should drink all day. <laughs> <laughs> I think Charlie Sheen would agree with you. I mean, I... Probably did quite a bit of those shows. <laughs> I don't want to get as loose as Charlie Sheen. I don't want to be in that point. <laughs> yeah, you may want to back up just a little bit. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to pull the emergency brake right before Charlie Sheen happens to me. <laughs> That's your stop. So at least now I know you have a stopping point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't have tiger blood, Paul. <laughs> and I want to ask you too, Paul. What is your opinion on uh, Vern? Uh, Troy, like, is he giving is he giving you guys a bad name? Like, he just he just did some crazy shit, crazy shit. He did mini me, yeah. He just we did the story earlier. He I guess he got crunk. He got really drunk, and I don't know if he had a suicide threat that he called. No, I, I didn't hear that. Yeah, mini me um, says he's drunk and suicidal, and now he's on like a seven seventy two hour watch. Like, Holy shit, man! Yeah, yeah well, you know, I think I think he's probably a really cool guy in person. Yeah, but there's a few things that I'm like, really, dude, do you have to pull that shit? 
<laughs> he's giving you guys a bad name. Yeah, no, he's being watched for uh, evaluated for seventy two hours because I guess he got super That's drunk. Crazy. And I, how many drinks would it take to get him messed up? Like we were trying to figure that out well, earlier yeah. too. He's shorter than I am. He's smaller than me. <laughs> wow! Wow! I, I could probably take him though. <laughs> you, I would like to see that. I would like to see that. <laughs> As small as he is, I could probably just push him over and he'd be all right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Paul, thank you so much for talking to us again. Again. You are quite welcome, man. And definitely, you know, keep following me and I'm following you guys. Yes. And you, you guys, oh. you know, are, are good for my ego. <laughs> you're good for you're good for ours. You're you're an amazing, <laughs> you're an amazing person. Like uh, we've you've messaged me you know several times off the show like even on times we I didn't have you booked like you're you're a great person to interact with where can everybody find I appreciate you that. no problem you can find me on on Twitter at Paul Ford actor cool uh, you can find me at Instagram at Paul Ford 2013 uh, you can find me on Facebook at Paul Ford 2000 uh, Paul Ford actor awesome so, Thank and you, if Paul. you're really hot you can Text me and I'll give you my number. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be getting a text from Slambo later. I was gonna say, one of these guys will be texting you later, Bob. <laughs> That's a Charlie Sheen moment, and I refuse to go. <laughs> stay, stay awesome. cool, Paul. You're awesome. You're awesome. All right, brothers, I appreciate it, and I'll keep you guys informed. Keep watching yes. out, brother. Keep, yes, we will. We will, my man. Have a good one. All right, man, you guys be good. You too. Take care, Paul. Later, Paul. Bye-bye.